that's on the other side of this where that transferred coracoid process is. But actually, all this looks pretty encouraging. This is, this is a good looking joint, and I think it may be mostly that that dang screw is what's giving you the biggest issues. You do have a tear of your inferior labrum down here. So up with the arm again, please, Trish. So this tissue down here, and you can see how that can be catching back and forth in the joint. So that's certainly a, a source of mechanical irritation. That's not contributing at all to your stability of your shoulder. So this for sure we want to take out, and that should be very amenable to removal just with the arthroscopic shaver. As I come to the front, I don't think that the screw is going to be visible inside. So I think the screw is all on the other side of this tissue here, the, the anterior capsule. I wonder if there even was a little bit of bone as part of that. So for sure we need to take that bit out, and that may be a lot of your mechanical symptoms as well. Here is the back of the, or the, the armpit side, the axillary recess, and coming along to the back of the head. So they come along the back here. Here's posterior inferior where the capsule attaches the head. In fact, the humeral head back here, you did have a little bit of that dent on the back of the head. So this is all consistent with having had the instability issue, although, as I mentioned, I'm really not convinced that's what's going on causing the shoulder issues now. This is your rotator cuff tissue with just a little bit of fraying on the, on the undersurface. So all this is pretty magnified. You, really don't have, you don't have rotator cuff symptoms or findings on exam, but just a little bit of fraying underneath here. And then here is up above the socket, supraglenoid fossa, where the top of the labrum attaches, superior labrum, and then posterior and postural inferior. So basically what I see on this is evidence of prior instability on a joint that on exam really is no, not even as unstable as, as its mate on the other side. Lift the arm up again, please. This anterior inferior parrot beak glenoid labrum issue, which I think we want to trim out of here, but it, I don't think it's going to make things any more unstable to change that because that's not contributing to anything. And then of course, the big thing, I think, is getting that screw out of there, both for the front symptoms and back symptoms. So good. So, so that, and, and a pretty good looking joint, despite having had all these issues over the years. So let me have the shaver next. So then this is your arthroscopy shaver. And they cleverly.